Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another full breakdown for you guys, a full offense. A couple of weeks ago, I did a, a couple of run plays out of the uh, the Raiders' strong H wing. And I said in that video, if you guys wanted to see a full breakdown of that with pass plays and all, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So you guys did that. This is going to be that video, full version. If you already saw the uh, the pass play, or the run plays, I'll put a timestamp on the video so you guys can skip right ahead to the pass plays if you're just looking to add that to your arsenal. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, let me know in the comments section, hit the like button, and I will try to put out more full-length videos like this. But the plays, two of them are already in here. I mean, the, the Power Alert X Smoke is already in here. The Counter Weak, now this one's a very interesting one. This formation, with most of these run plays, is in two different playbooks. It's in the Raiders and the Seahawks. But I'm focusing on the Raiders because the Seahawks doesn't have this counterplay. And this counterplay is pretty important. So I'm going to add the counterplay to my, uh, my you know, audibles here. Then uh, probably one of the best ones that's not already in the audibles would also be just a regular dive. And those would probably be the four. So the Stretch Alert X Lookie, which I don't even think we showed. The Stretch Alert X Lookie right there, that's the one that, like I said, a lot of people are hitting me with and having a lot of success. The way this play works, it's almost like a toss play. It looks like a toss play when the people are running it against you. Now, before I get into this video, as always, if you guys want to get your mutt team up like mine, I currently rock at a 98, which is the highest I've ever had, by the way. Uh, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off. Now, as far as these four run plays go, you can see you got a different launch angle with pretty much every one of them. The power alerts uh, and the stretch alerts, uh, you can't flip. Uh, they're the only plays you can't flip because you you have a receiver doing something which kind of sucks uh, Because the, the the power alert especially would be great if I could flip it But you can't really do that. So uh, when it comes to flipping plays It's really just gonna be the counter and the dive now This is an interesting opportunity for the counter. It's a little bit more tight than I like But I'm gonna go ahead and run this because I don't know how many looks I'm going to get uh, For that necessarily and you can see right there it didn't necessarily work out hundred percent when it comes to the counter plays You really want more spacing and more of a spread like this here. This is a perfect opportunity I guess the dive would make the most sense uh, based off the fact that you can see I have a huge hole right over the middle. So a lot of times you're just really reading for holes. Uh, but there are certain coverages where these plays will have more success uh, than others, which I'll go into. So like I was saying, a lot of times since, you know, basically a lot of people are running cover threes right now, which just looks like it could be a cover three. The stretch alert look is really the most dominant play when it comes to this particular running formation. And this looks like it's a cover three or at least a cover one with a blitz, which either way, this play should work out really well. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to take that i don't typically uh throw it to the the slant that's not something i'm really going to run unless it's a man coverage uh, but ultimately you can see how that worked out there then on the other side i mean this is another perfect opportunity for the counterplay based on the fact that we have a huge gap out here the only real issue there is you can see that guard kind of <laughs> overshot it but that was definitely you know a good run i just had to run it a little bit wider than i wanted to so let's go to the replay and saw what happened there uh, because like i said anytime you see this type of formation where you have a widespread gap like this you can shoot for that gap i mean that's that's a really easy read and sure enough this is pretty much your only read when it comes to uh, a counter run is this outside defensive now he's coming off the edge fast which is good i mean you want that typically you want that look because then you can go up inside of it ultimately like i said this is the read and you're really reading this defensive end if he shoots in fast like that plays it aggressively you go inside of him if he stalls if he stutters if he stops right here and just like puts his hands out like he does a lot of times i'll show you that look too you typically can go outside of him or inside of him but uh if he comes off fast you just have to go inside every time so i mean here you can look for opportunities when it comes to this to the you know the counter play you really need spacing like that but this stretch play really should have success as long as you have a fast running back this stretch play should have success against most things so right here this cover three you see that corner i don't know maybe it wasn't a cover three maybe it was a man coverage which you know it looked like it was a man coverage or cover three i'll go to the replay to check out which one it was i think one of the reasons i'm seeing it so much is because it's so good against uh you know pretty much the meta coverages right now which is cover three zone uh man cover one man zero those are probably the most predominantly used coverages in madden online and you can see right here how this is going to take advantage of both of them like right here that's
that's a man coverage. He completely takes himself out of the play. Maybe it was a man zero. Uh, looks like a man cover one, though, based off of that safety. You can see how there's just nothing out here. And if it's a cover three, typically this cornerback here drops back and takes himself out of the play to the point where these stretch runs uh, can get outside of it. So here we go once again. It looks like another cover three. This is probably going to be, like I was saying, if you watch that cornerback on the outside, he drops back, takes himself out of the play. And by the time he reacts and gets down, I mean, I got a one-on-one -on -one for the edge. So for my money, I mean, the, the two best runs are definitely going to be the stretch and the counter. The counter makes a lot of, you know, obviously people, the thing too is a lot of people are going to shift dramatically in the direction of the two tight ends and the fullback. And in that scenario, you're obviously going to want to just hit him to the uh, the counter side. I mean, it's really that simple when it comes to the, you know, the most explosive plays out of this formation. So even though I have four plays here, I really feel like the two best plays are pretty much just going to be the counter and the stretch. And then the dive, obviously, is a, is a decent play. The, the power, in my opinion, is not a great play. Here, though, we don't have a ton of, we have a little bit of a, a blocking advantage on that side. That's a scenario where, you know, you could easily use that power run. But I feel like you don't really have that a lot. So like I said, pre-snap here, you can see all the, you know, you have pretty much everybody on the back side here. This is a good opportunity for a power because you have a blocking advantage. This next run looks pretty much the same way uh, where, once again, I mean, obviously the counter is not really a good option. This, I still think the stretch would be a better way to go, but to use the power a little bit more just to get some footage on it, you can see how you definitely need uh, a blocking advantage to that side. But at least you have attacks to both sides of the line of scrimmage. So that's one of the things about this formation is you just have attacks to both sides, uh, which, you know, most formations don't have counter runs. Counter runs to me are some of the better runs in the game uh, if you run them uh, correctly. Here's another opportunity for that counter run. This is as long as that block comes around, seals it. A lot of times you'll get a hole right up the middle as you saw right there. And then this could be a very explosive run. I mean, I'm averaging 10 to 15 to carry uh, just using this. So like I said, I can see why a lot of people uh, are using this setup online right there. I mean, you can see when you have those moving blockers, you know, the defensive players just disappear. Let's, let's go to the replay again real quick. As these guys just get washed out, I ended up basically treating this like a dive because these guys just, just get washed out of the play. I mean, that's just that's just perfect. So I'm going to show uh, a pass play here. Um, I'm going to show, I mean, there's a couple of really good pass plays. Probably the best one's going to be the PA Power O. Now, against something like a cover two zone, you actually have a couple of different options. Uh, based off of the route that the A route's running, I mean, you really have... Um, you know, a, a pretty much a bunch concept over there between the fullback, the, the, the two tight ends. I mean, if you have good enough tight ends and you know, enough speed, if you play mutt um, and you have good enough positions there, I mean, ultimately, you can really run this like a bunch concept. Uh, where I could do any number of things, but I can, if I want to try to hit a home run right at the middle, all I really have to do is put the A route on a smart route, and this will give you an opportunity. I'm not suggesting that it's the best option, but you do have an opportunity to get going right up the center because um, that smart route uh, will, you know, really pull these safeties apart if I go to the replay. Um, you know, when you get to this point right here where this guy here is covering so far out, I mean, if you look back, the safeties are going to be about, you know, 40, 50 yards apart. And since he has an inside release, I mean, you definitely have opportunities. I could have shortened that throw too. I could have low throat it, all kind of stuff. There's a lot of options there. But you can also put this B route here on a streak. And if you do that, um, you have a lot of opportunity to the outside as well, which a lot of times is probably the safer bet. I mean, especially against, you know, that'll be, that'll be there against most, multiple zone coverages, cover two, cover three, um, especially because of that, uh, the way cover three reacts now, this A route's going to be open. And if that A route doesn't work, um, you also have the fullback underneath. So there's a lot of different options against cover two. This play is also a cover three, one play touchdown by doing the exact same thing, just putting the A route on a smart route. Uh, and then it's pretty much just timing as all I have to do. I'm going to roll in the direction of the throw, wait for this guy to get past the safety there. And you can see we got an easy one play touchdown against cover three as well. So cover two and cover three, this play's got it. I'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time. Smart route, the A route. This time, though, I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to slide my protection to the right. Um, you could easily block the, the B route, block the, you know, the, the Y route if you want. All those things can help. But ultimately, I want to roll in this direction because I'm going to pretty much want to shorten this throw because not every quarterback's got a boom and arm. And then you can see it's just, it's super easy one play touchdown against cover two and cover three. But what about cover four? We also have cover four to drop contain. We'll take that. That's just your standard basic cover four. We're going to do the exact same thing. Here, though, we just want to block everybody. We can leave ourselves a little bit of an outlet with the running back, or the fullback, rather. Uh, but you just want to block these guys to drop this, uh, sit, drop these safeties down as much as possible. And then there, I mean, my timing was horrible, but I still got it done. So we'll go to the replay just to show you what to look for there. 
Uh, as you can see, I mean, that was just, I'm, I'm hitting a one-play touchdown against cover two, cover three, and cover four with pretty much the same setup. So based off the fact that there's no deep routes here, these safeties are not going to drop back at all. They're not going to react. The way that cover four works a lot of times is they, the, the defense kind of splits the field in half. These two safeties react to the receivers on this side. These two safeties react to the receivers on the other side, but there are no receivers on this side. So they're just going to basically uh, just stop. Uh, the only running back, the only thing in the area is the running back. That's why I said you could lead that because they will react to that. And then based off the fact that, you know, they will they won't really notice this guy until he crosses the center field. Um, they're just going to be way out of place. So you're basically just watching them. If they don't drop back like they won't, uh, you essentially just wait for this guy here to get inside of the free safety. Once he's inside the free safety and this safety is so low, you just bullet pass lead space. Uh, as you can see, if I go back here, I'm probably already winding up. Uh, as I'm just going to, like I said, bullet pass lead to the right over the top of the safeties. It's a really easy one-play touchdown. Now, when it comes to cover four beaters, sometimes it's a good idea to, like, put somebody on a drag or an in route, although that's not an in route. Um, <laughs> an in route, something to keep your opponent, uh, who's user in the middle of the field most likely, down into the box. That would be the only thing that I would say do, but you don't want to put any route past 10 yards. You want to make that safety, that free, that strong safety in that cornerback drop as much as possible. So a five-yard in is a good check down and it's just a good play overall and then you can see it won't affect the safeties uh this should keep your user opponent home so that would be my uh my suggested setup if you're going to run this against cover four just put this guy here on a five yard in and then block your b route slide your protection to the right and that's pretty much your look now this play does not have a ton of man beaters i'm going to cover two man now uh, i would say against man just motion this guy in if you see here when he's lined out wide the cornerback is right in the receiver's face he will try to force him outside he'll try to jam him and make him go outside uh, and then there's just not really a real window there as you can see i mean i threw it tight but that's not a great throwing window so if you're going against man coverages whenever you motion this guy in he will not align right over him you can see right here he's not he's but now giving him an inside release so when you do that just put him on a smart route and boom you got a man beater it's really that simple i'll also put like the b route on a drag that would be a check down uh, but this would pretty much be the look when it comes to man coverage and then also you know a very important step would be to take away the play action because that just messed everything up so we'll do this again this is definitely a quick throw play uh, let's do that one more time like i said that that play action definitely messed everything up and then boom we just bullet you know pass lead to the ground very simple completion against man coverages uh, but this play in in you know in general doesn't really have a ton of man beaters you have to pretty much create them uh with this setup man i can block the rb route because he's not going to beat man too that flat's never going to beat man coverage unless you have like a super fast um you know running back there that's like the only chance that a table route will have but if you do this you definitely have a setup against man coverage and against zone coverage there is a really good man beating play in this though and that's the pa bootex shot so we'll go and pick that this is going to be specifically a cover one man play which a lot of people are essentially running. I, want, I mean, it's cover one man, but it's also when people are running the three, three, five wide and they're putting the outside linebackers or, or safeties on 25 yard curl flats, this will work the exact same way. So any man zero blitz or cover one uh, man, this play will work. All you really have to do is put the X route here on a smart route, although you don't even really have to do that, to be honest with you. You can leave him on the route as is. Uh, and then you can see here, I mean, he's just, you know, this is this is this route's designed to beat man coverage defenders that bite. Now, like I said, I shortened it for a reason. It's not something you have to do, but if somebody's blitzing you, the shorter release will definitely get him open faster because, you know, he's already open 15 yards down the field, not even 10 yards down the field. I could have threw it here because the DB was cooked. So shortening it definitely will help against man zero blitzers. But if you leave it as is, the only thing I would say you could do to try to help this play out uh, is if you motion out, um, you know, just I'm, like I, if I want to streak the A route just to try to pull that safety, motion this guy out, streak that guy once again. Just These are all designed to try to pull that safety. And then you can see right there, I mean, I did shorten that route and it wasn't as successful. If I had held it a little bit longer, it probably would have been open. But ultimately, these routes definitely benefit from uh, from putting them on smart routes and it'll also help pull that safety over because you can see here the streak doesn't do that the streak just goes straight back the safety's going to follow the streak so that's probably the most important thing when it comes to this play put this guy on a streak put this guy on a smart route that way the safety follows the streak because the streak will threaten faster based off of timing that's all this really is when it comes to you know madden the timing here is going to pull that safety back it's going to make it really easy for me to throw it to the guy that i really wanted to all along and that's how you're going to beat uh, cover one man's 
and like I said, it also works against cover zeros and stuff like that as well. There's another good man play, uh, man specifically, and that'd be the F trail. This has multiple man routes already kind of in it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll pick cover two man once again. This play here, I mean, you want to want to make that same uh, adjustment where you motion this guy in. Um, that's once again just to get this uh, this you know this inside release. Like I said, hold the left trigger, bullet pass it. Now the fullback he has an out and he'll come back in, which is a play that you know catches a lot of people sleeping that run heavy man coverages. This is also a route that you have to kind of throw on timing. Uh, as you can see right there, if he gets bumped off, that can really mess everything up. Um, but it's really something you want to throw in the break. Uh, which, like I said, based off the fact that this guy can can bump him away, could be kind of dangerous. And then the last play, I'm going to just pick random. It's the PA Sprint Halfback Flat. This is a good play against, you know, a lot of different defenses. So we'll go random. This is a good play man or zone, but it's a real, you have to make the re snap. The X route is the man beater. The right side with the, the three routes is the zone beater. So I'm just going to streak the A route. If it's zone, I'm reading Y and B. That's pretty much all there is to it. If it's man, I'm pretty much just going to hit it to the X route, which just looks like man coverage. So, like I said, he's going to beat his. He's going to beat his assignment, especially with that inside release. So that's you know that's pretty much it here. This looks like another man coverage. Like I said, this is a very good route. Any route that breaks twice in this game is typically going to be a good uh, route against man coverage, especially if you have an inside release like that. So hopefully we get a couple more zone coverage looks. When it comes to zone coverage, this looks like a zone coverage here. It's really about the B route or the Y route. Here it looks like the, uh, you know, it's an, a weird zone coverage. So I, <laughs> I don't know. That was like a corner blitz from the look of it. So I had to take the, the B route. I would say traditionally, though, um, the route that's going to be open more is probably going to be the Y route. It's probably going to be open more for catch and runs. Although here, I mean, that's, you know, like I said, I'm watching. I'm, I want to take the big play. If it's a cover three, a lot of times that streak will pull that guy back. But that's pretty much your look. So this here pretty much looks like another man coverage if I had to guess. I'll know once I hike the ball for sure. Looks like we don't have, I don't even know what that was. So like I said, I'll take that check down. Didn't really get a, get a good catch and run, but that's pretty much the play. So you got your man side and your zone side. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Raiders, let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button. Also, if you want to see this full breakdown uh, next week from this offense with all the passing plays, let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.